Hey guys, in this video I'm going to show you how I made these fun kitchen magnets and they are simple enough for beginners to follow along. So here's my materials. I use cost clay, you can use polymer too, acrylics does not have to be that brand, floral wire, some resin, and of course some magnets. And the first one that I'm making is an egg, so that's pretty simple. You just uh, roll it into an egg shape. I didn't put any foil as a base or anything, it's just clay. And then I'm just pushing that magnet right into it. And this is just a smaller egg. Next I'm making a mushroom and I'm just rolling that stem. And then for the cap, you're just going to use a, a ball of clay, and I use this uh, tool to create an opening at the bottom, and then I can shape it with my hands. This is going to be the green onions. I'm going to make it a little bit thinner at the top. At the bottom, it's going to have that little ball. And I'm just going to keep adding to it. And then just bend all those pieces into place. Now I'm making some more mushrooms with uh, thinner stems, but it's basically the same thing. You're just gonna create that cap at the top there. You start off with a ball of clay and then use a tool to create an opening and just shape it with your hands. The tomatoes are just three balls of clay, some leaves and a stem. Here I'm making the potatoes. I think all these pieces just start off as a ball and you're just shaping it slightly different. I am adding two of these magnets um, just in case, but one would have been just fine. These are pretty strong magnets. Here's my onion. And these are going to be the kidney beans. Again, I'm using two magnets. I uh, really didn't have to, but just in case. Here I'm doing the carrots. Um, they're pretty easy too. They just need a little bit more detail. This is gonna be just a fantasy mushroom, so I put some clay on that floral wire and I'm making the cap here. And I am putting clay on top of foil. I'm adding a little bit more clay to cover any of that foil that's still sticking out. So just make sure that the back is flat on all of them so that you can stick it on a fridge. I'm 
And this is going to be the caterpillar. So the last one's going to be the worm and I'm just putting some clay on that wire and smoothing it out. The uh, head of the worm is going to be slightly bigger so I'm adding a little bit of clay to that. Putting some rings on them. And once I complete that I'm just going to bend them into the shape that I want. Once I take the magnet out, I'm going to go ahead and bake all these pieces and uh, then once I take them out of the oven and they've cooled, I'm going to go ahead and start painting them with a dark base. It was a mix between black and brown and then I'm going to start putting on the uh, different layers. So with the kidney beans and the mushroom, I'm using like a purplish red. Each coat is slightly different in color. It usually goes from dark to lighter. And I'm not brushing, I'm just dabbing everything. And this is totally optional. I'm using a watercolor pencil um, because it would just make it easier to put some of those lines into the potatoes. Um, if you do use a watercolor pencil, you have to seal it because it will just wash off. So here you can really see the difference between polymer and cost clay. It stays flexible and therefore it's less fragile. It also makes it easier for me to paint these mushrooms because I can move them around. Just using my toothbrush to put speckles on the mushroom stems. I'm also going to be using that for the eggs. I did put a layer of resin on them because if they're in a kitchen, you want to be able to wash them. So I wanted to make sure that they're waterproof. 
and then I'm just gluing the magnets back into the pieces. And they're all done. I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll see you next time.